Hey man, Pastor Ted here. Wow, big empty parking lot, huh? Yep, that's our church. Normally, there are cars bustling and in and out and people and people talking and embracing and just enjoying the fellowship that we can only have here at Smithtown and we so enjoy that. But boy, it certainly has changed, hasn't it? Wow! I mean, I can't believe week after week I come out of my house and there is this big empty parking lot again. A lot's changed and probably some things are going to change. I'm sure there'll be a day, probably in the near, in the distant future, no, probably in the near future, that we're going to be all getting together again. You know, I hope and I pray that when we do get back together again, men, that you are able to retain the things that God has done. Some of the challenging things that you had to walk through, some of the things that were just hurtful, or, but mostly the things that were like uh, the aha moments. You know, those moments where you're like, oh, that's what God is doing. Oh, now I understand. Some of you hopefully took the challenge to read through the Psalms or, or read through Matthew, Mark, Luke, John and, and were able to kind of start getting into a new habit. Maybe that devotional uh, thing that I did uh, in the very beginning to help you say, yeah, I got to get that going. When you get to this point where we're starting to re-enter into things, you know, besides Target and, and Walmart, when we start re-entering, let's not forget the things that God has entered into our hearts and written upon our lives. Let's not forget those quiet times that we started having and, and, and keep doing those. Don't forget those special times that you've had if you're married with your spouse or, or if you have kids with your children. Don't forget the tenderness that have been in your heart for those that are suffering and, and maybe the help that you extended to them. Don't forget those things. You see, God never wants us to forget the places where he's connected with us. And man, if there's anything that I know about you because I know it about me, once I get something, I want to hold on to it. I want to build with it. I want to make sure it happens again and again, especially if it's been a good thing. So as we come to this place, whatever is good and lovely and beautiful, th think on those things. Think on those things. You know, we, if we take that in our heart, then we won't be subject to the warning that James writes. And that warning is real simple. You say that you're going to go here or there for a season and make money and then come back. You know what? If we've learned anything from this, we realize that it isn't that easy. One day you're going off to work, the next day you're working from home, the next day you're filling out an unemployment application. It's insane. And that's why it's important that we realize every day is a gift from God. I remember when I first came here to the church, many of the older people, I would say, okay, I'll see you Wednesday, Lord willing, they would say, and I thought, well, boy, that is sort of pessimistic thinking, Lord willing. My goodness, it's only three days away. I'm sure we'll be able to be there. And then as time went on, I got to understand it was a statement of faith and honoring the Lord. Lord willing. In other words, if he wants me to be here Wednesday, I'm coming. But if God has a different plan, I'm there too. So men, it's a starting place again and again every day with the COVID surrounding us. But let's get ready. So when God opens the doors and we're able to fill this parking lot with all kinds of activity and people and friends, when someone says, hey, how did you make out? You're able to say, you know what? I learned a lot about the Lord. I learned about the Psalms. I never read them before. I have a quiet time now that I never had. I pray with my wife or I pray with my kids. What a great testimony that would be, right? I hope that when we get all back together again and we have our first men's meeting, it'll be a night where we can't fit all the testimonies in. All right, men, I'm looking forward to seeing you again. God bless you. Certainly love you and appreciate you. Have a great day.